Hello, this is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This was a packing label and I basically cut a circle and left a little tab so I could pull it out. And that's going to be, in theory, we don't know if this is actually going to work, that's going to be my white space. And I'll be able to pull that up, cross your fingers, I'll be able to pull that up with my pair of tweezers that have a really sharp tip that you can find on the Amazon link. I'm going to try and press it down really well. So I'm going to lay, make a line of demarcation for my sky and color the bottom in. This is indigo violet. I'm going to color the bottom in with black, but I think I want to smear that first. Don't ask me why, I just don't want a heavy base layer. Now I'm going to use sky colors. It's going to be a wild sky because I'm going to use the leftover colors that I added to a little bit of pillow paint in the bottom of a dish that were left over from, what was it, 9243. And that was a, um, a, a swipe and spin, swipe, spin, drag, and you know which ones. <laughs> All right, so there's my line of demarcation. Hopefully, that won't be too much paint. I'm used to priming canvases with enough black, so I'm kind of thinking I got a shot. I may have to black my sides still. This is Mead and Black paint mixed with Floetrol and GAC 800 and it is some of the blackest paint I've ever encountered. I don't mind having that go right up to that edge. But I might just leave it. Oh, I can't and have can. I'll have canvas showing if I leave any. So next time I'll leave it heavier. <laughs> And the paint looks like it's having, I just mixed this paint too. Looks like it's having a funky reaction, which is actually making a pretty cool texture. It might be reacting with the, um, the indigo violet. Is that indigo violet? Did I say that's prison pour? It's indigo violet. So I've got enough paint on my edges and it looks like on the back. If I don't want drips, I'll just move that down over the edge for right now. I usually cover my edges with my fingers, quite honestly. But if I move it down right now, then I won't have to worry about it. Maybe I'll just bite the bullet and leave that purple, because I really like the way it looks a lot. And a little texture. I wonder what it would look like. Let's just go for it. I'm going to um, use some Decorate Americana 24 karat gold and grab, if I see it, a little Fandango. Oh, I got white paint from the, from the last painting. my spatula. Which I will eradicate in a moment. If I see any of. Probably wouldn't make any difference at all. I do see. I have a little bit of a gap right there. Oh, there's still white on there. Darn. Doesn't matter. It makes cool texture. It's accidental art. Alright, so. I like that simple bottom. And I'm going to get rid of all the paint that's on my spatula, even if it has some white in it, it'd be fine. And throw it in the bucket because the mead and black paint on your skin, on your on anything, wants to stay. It is the strongest stuff, I swear. 
or I promise. It's a little hard, the containers, you have to sort of uh, like jury rig the end game. How you finish getting the rest of the paint out is, it's not a good setup, but it is worth the, the paint. It's worth the trouble. All right, so that's my start. And I could do anything with that purple, even add more purple. But I kind of thought I might want to add some trees, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But here comes the paint. This is my, here. That looks pretty nice, huh? This is um, the leftovers, like I said, from 9243. And I want to put those across my sky, but I really want something underneath them to slide them around a little bit. So I'm contemplating using some of this vivid, uh, vivid intense violet opal. I might just like it and just decide to keep it. I need a clean spatula, which fortunately I have. I don't know if I can get this on here fast enough so it won't start to dry or not. But I'm going to try. That way if any of it shows through. I think I need a little more of that. I'm trying not to let myself worry at all about the horizon line. Because I figure there's always tomorrow for whatever needs to be fixed. I'm not actually trying to hit the sun slash moon. with paint just because. Now the best place for me to have that extra paint is down at the horizon line, duh. I can tell now I'm going to like feel bad when I put all that paint on the sky and hopefully it's going to slide around but we don't know that yet. I bet that'd be cool. I mean, I'm still going to have to fill in, add some paint, maybe a pale yellow or a silver, orange, red, whatever I'm inclined toward. It's starting to dry already because it's got just Sonia gloss varnish in it. And I'm pretty sure the purple Horizon is already dry also. Let's just take a little bit of that. I can always color over my edges. All right, so now it's time to decide what, if anything, goes in this pan of colors. And I was thinking it'd be nice to have some more of this um, the new yellow-orange that's a fluorescent from Vivid Intense from Color Art. And keep your eye out for that Color Art coupon code. I'm just going to pick a spot <laughs> and I'm figuring since I'm not mixing it in it might work I don't know we'll see I'm gonna grab a shovel I'm gonna grab a shovel yes I am <laughs> I'm so nervous I'm probably gonna have to tip or and or spin I have no idea at what point in time, whoops, took my finger right in the paint, I might want to pull that orb off. Well, that looks pretty cool. Maybe I don't even need to do anything else. Let's take that bubble out of there. Then I got another whole pan of paint. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep going for it. It does look awesome. I'm going to turn that around so you can see what I'm looking at. That's pretty cool. I might be tempted to fill in some of that purple though with the black with my finger. Alright, I'm just going to grab some more paint. 
I kind of wish I had a wider delivery system. What do I have? I have I have acetate cards. Let's give it a try, shall we? Boy, this is brazen of me. I don't think I'm going to make it to the other side. Well, it's a first experiment. They can't all be perfect. That's for sure. I don't think I'm going to... But I can dribble more. Yeah, I can. Let's just do that. Right over the top of that. I'm not sure I like that black in the sky. I'm not sure I shouldn't have stopped. I'm sure I'm irritating someone by saying that because there's always someone who agrees with me. But it's okay. Because it's basically an experiment and it, it'll probably turn out to be pretty cool. It's not boring, that's for sure. Let's grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and take some of this paint right out of this shovel. So it's basically transfer sky landscape. I don't think there's much point in spinning, but I might want to anyway, just to move things around some. Take the rest of this paint, especially that yellow. Let it go right over the side. I'm kind of having to be careful because I know there's pillow paint in there, and once that white takes over, there's no coming back from that. Oops. Okay, well clouds are all kinds of funky colors, right? Little drip here and there. I'm really tempted to keep going. It's really, really dramatic. I wanted to go down below too. I'm not done with this part yet. I think I'm going to try and pull my circle off. I might have to touch it up tomorrow. I'm going low. I'm going high, I'm going low. I'm going all over the place. I get the paint to the edge that I'm sure it'll go over. I've got bubbles to get rid of. I'm going to come back here and fill in that one gap. So that's a plan for another time is to actually... It must be dog food 30. Okay, so a lot of my paint is gone. My tools are going in the bucket. I'm going to get rid of this dish, put it back under a lid in case I want to use, scrape up what's in the bottom. Bring my barrier over after I get rid of these colors. Do I want any more yellow? I don't. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. I don't mind anything. I'm not sure why the black would be found in the sky, but as long as it's gray, I guess that's fine. Just sort of, I don't know, fussing. 
Next, we want to put back that um, the indigo violet. Which I'm wondering if I could blow down. I'm sure I could pull down. I've got three minutes. Let's try the pulling. Let's, hey, <laughs> got away from me. That had white on it. Okay. I'll just figure that's moonlight or something. It's not what I was expecting. Teach me to clean my tools. Why don't I use a palette knife? I'm no palette knife expert, but I do a mean swipe, scoop, and drag. I'm hoping it'll just decide to fill in, except for the big spaces. I'm going to have to work on that. There will be no trees this time. Alright, so before I spin or after I spin, I'm not sure. I think after I spin I'm going to try and pull something up. I'm going to throw those in the bucket right now. I'm going to run out of time. I don't want to run out of time. I don't expect the sky to move at all to tell you the truth, but it might. I see some I see some paint coming off. I could also scoop and drag the sky, which has definitely occurred to me repeatedly. It's gonna be surreal. I'm gonna have to find my tweezers pretty quick. I think they're in the bucket. Yep, they're wet. I know I can't wait to pull that sun, moon, slash, whatever the heck it is off there, and I don't want any wet on my fingers. I'm sure there's some kind of sticker I could get. This may not be the proper method. Looks bad, oh no. Ah, not that bad. It just got damp. Maybe if I waterproof the surface of the paper first. I could probably get that off tomorrow since there's no paint in there. I just don't want to leave the edge. I'm not sure what I would fill that in with. Like I said, it could be gold or orange or yellow or any number of things. I've got a few bubbles. One minute to tell you. Please shop my Amazon link if you're of a mind to be helpful and watch my videos longer. Share my, share my links. That's pretty much it for right now. I'm not sure what else might happen to this. kind of fun. It's kind of like, oh, it's doing that flashy thing with my light again. I wish it would stop doing that. I can't legitimately shimmer anything at you when my flashlight just keeps flashing on and off. So there are some colors in the sky that will shimmer, but mostly they're not. I'm going to have to torch really briefly and look for bubbles that obviously I can pop with my tweezers. On my Amazon link, you'll find my two books. Look on my link tree for the percentage off coupon code for Pixel Paint Designs and Color Art products. My paint pouring recipes below show more. 